guys have had a lot of success against this group this year. You know, but at the same time, they've beaten some really good teams too. So how do you kind of just sort of shelf the success you've had against them and make sure you bring kind of the level of urgency tonight that, that's needed? Uh, yeah, I think we're obviously, uh, like you said, had some some success against them, and we're looking to continue that tonight or or tomorrow. So um, they're a dangerous group, um, very energetic. Obviously, um, they got some skill uh, on, on their team too. So we got to be we got to be ready to go and and um, have that same mindset that we've had uh, against this group for a while. So um, yeah, we're, we're obviously looking to to have the same results. One of the things they do tend to bring out in teams is kind of that compete level. You know, like you know you're going to be in for a, a game where they're going to be finishing checks and playing hard. And you guys, you guys seem to really elevate it in that way against them. Do you like what your team has brought to these games in that regard? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think in the past maybe um, our team would would take a team like that a little lightly or. or um, not with the same intensity or, or with the mindset, but we we haven't done that at all this year. Uh, we've actually been really, really good. Um, so we're obviously yeah looking to continue that and and have that same mindset and and um, you know obviously finish finish them out. Thanks. Bob Stoffer, six thirty, Morning, Leon. Uh, just. Uh, you know, you play the occasional early game on Saturdays and Sundays. This is a midweek game. Uh, is it is it a little bit different getting prepared for? And is there any uh, you know concern about being fired and ready to go uh, right from the get go? Because it is a, I would think it's a little bit of a different experience for you guys. Yeah, it's different, but I mean, it's it's an NHL game and and it's a regular season game, so um, I don't think anyone has to worry about about us getting up for for this game this is a big game for us um you know it's it's coming down to the the, the last little bit here in the regular season and um you know we want to secure a playoff spot and um obviously have our game uh where, where we want it to be going into the playoffs so um this like i said is a big big little uh, uh two game set here for us and we're looking to um yeah play a solid road game and and come away with four points has Dave Tippett, the coaching staff, instilled something? In, I mean, you guys have been pretty consistent, uh, regardless of the opponent. Like some of the other, you know, teams that are at the top of the charts in the North have struggled a bit against Ottawa. Is there, is there something that Dave has brought, and the coaching staff has brought, that's brought out to consistency in your game, regardless of who you play? Yeah, I mean, they they prepare as well, of course. Um, you know, they give us exactly what we need um structurally and and mentally um but i think our team our leadership group we know how to handle these situations now and and we're, we're growing we're getting older so um you know this is on on us as much as it is on the coaches to to make sure that our group is ready thank you yep. jim Matheson, post media uh, Leon, uh, Tim Stutzla last scored a goal against the Oilers in March 8th and got two in the last 19. What do you say about a player like that who's in his first year and as you were in your first year? And uh, I guess how you describe how difficult it is for a teenager to play in the NHL? Yeah, it's hard. I mean, it's it's the best league in the world. It's it's a tough league. Um, no one's just going to let you come in and, and, and score and, and uh, guys are so good at defending nowadays that it's hard, especially as as a young kid when you don't have experience and, and uh, all that all that kind of stuff. So um, those those things are normal; they happen um, to pretty much any any young guy. So um, I've been through it. Lots of guys have been through it. Uh, I'm I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, and your, I just want to ask you about your father. Your father is now coaching in Bratislava. I understand. Is he just moving around now? Is this, you know, from from one country to another? Is how's that? How's he enjoying that? Uh, yeah, he likes it. Um, you know, keeps him busy. Uh, I think he had a really good time there. Um, uh, he he liked coaching that team, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's going back there next year. Um, so he signed for another year. So um, yeah, he he likes it and and keeps him busy. Sportsnet. So I just want to talk to you, Leon, about the dynamic of, of beating a team seven times in a row and then playing them again. In the normal times, it would take four years to play the Ottawa Senators eight times. Uh, 
this year, you're going to play them for the eighth time tonight. You beat them every time. Does it get increasingly difficult? What, what's it like to look at a team that you've been beating all year? What are they thinking? Well, I'm, I'm sure they're going to, you know, they really want to beat us here. Um, I think we've uh, been pretty successful against them this year. Uh, like you said, we've beaten them seven times. So uh, our goal is to not lose to them all year. Um, sweep sweep the season against them. Their goal is is obviously to to beat us uh, and and not lose every game against us. So uh, I think it'll be a good game. Uh, you know, we're looking to to play tight tight road game, like I said. And um, yeah, it would be nice to to get the win tonight.